All right, well, this video, <clears throat> No Man's Sky, it's a survival mode strategy uh, at the start, uh, start game strategies. Um, there have been a lot of uh, uh, talk on the forum, people having a little bit of trouble. <clears throat> and uh, it's just surprising what little items people don't, don't know about. Um, for whatever the reason might be. But anyway, I'm going to try to cover a few little things. Uh, some of it will be repeats. Some of it will be common sense. Um, some of it will be just bloody obvious. Uh, but we'll try to keep it uh, short and sweet. Um, this is about 48 minutes total of uh, gameplay. And I've condensed it down to about 24. Uh, and I ended up at a... Uh, abandoned building so first thing I did I went in looted it got what you know got whatever I could get out of it a little bit of plutonium shielding shard I think uh, some units and uh, uh, shield regeneration and I only took the shield because I got a, uh, one of those uh, plants that whip you in there so I went ahead and used it so next, next up, uh, I'm getting some carbon. Carbon's very important. Um, it's always wise, like this area. Um, you have shelter. There's plenty of iron, plenty of carbon, uh, some other odds and ends that you can pick up. And there's no reason to be in a hurry to leave this area. Um, you can hang around here, take, take your time. Uh, if you need to recharge your uh, hazard protection, you can buzz back into the building, recharge, come back out, continue uh, collecting the items you need, um, get that gun upgraded, or up, not upgraded, get it uh, prepared so that you can scan. And then I would always put away a little bit of carbon, well, just maybe a whole slot of carbon, and you might as well while you're here, I didn't do it in this video, but in this gameplay. But you should go ahead and uh, grab a bunch of car uh, carbon and iron uh, from this site. There's plenty of iron here. So you can go ahead and harvest all the iron that you need, fix the ship, teleport it to the ship, make your karite sheets, uh, fix what you can fix. Um, basically, the thrusters can be fixed before I ever leave this site. So, another thing, uh, if a sentinel shows interest in you, just stop shooting. And uh, you just stand still for a little bit and they'll take off and you can go back. Um, it's best not to aggravate them early in the game. Uh, I mean, you can kill them, but... Uh, it soaks up a lot of resources. If your gun's low and you get in a fight with some sentinels, that could be bad news. Um, so anyway, I've soaked up some uh, some elements. I'm going to make some karite sheets. I'm going to recharge here in the building and then continue. Uh, and like I said, you don't need to be in a hurry. Um, this is shelter. I'm on a cold planet. Uh, it's not going down. So far I haven't got any uh, animals trying to eat me. Um, things like that. So it looks like this uh, this planet, the geology, the lay of the land, is, is looks like it's pretty rough. And that might be uh, that might be what ends up being the deciding factor in how I end or how I continue with this. Uh, with this playthrough. Um, it seems like they try to balance it. Oh, here comes another sentinel. Seems like they try to balance it, and uh, if you have really bad terrain, you'll have more uh, more access to the elements you need, uh, a lesser uh, a lesser uh, extreme in the uh, in the cold or the heat or whatever, um, or not as far to your ship. Or whatever. I'm about nine minutes from the ship, and any more that doesn't really make any difference. The yeah, that ship could be half hour away, and it's not going to make any difference um, with the way the game plays now. Now here, 
I always look around and see what's about. And I'll, you saw that question mark. And there's something only a couple of minutes over there. And it's basically in line with my ship. So I'm going to go ahead and take off. And uh, we'll collect a few minerals on the way. Uh, make sure you uh, watch for those little whip vine things and kill them so they don't get you. Um, and here I'm headed to that first escarpment thing there. That's pretty good size. There should be some uh, shelter up there. Uh, you never really know till you get there. It's kind of a gamble uh, to to head for one of these uh, points of interest. And uh, when you get there, you find out there's no shelter. Uh, it's just kind of the flip of the coin. Um, now I happen to have a couple of shielding shards with me. So I can really go a long way, and I just got hit by one of those vines. There you go. I'll get him back. Uh, could use the carbon anyway. So I, this ended up being shelter, so that's good. So well, we are very low on our hazard protection, so we're going to hop in there, recharge, and um, in shelter now is a good place to do your inventory management. Move stuff to the ship, see where you're at, what you need. Make a plan of attack while your uh, while your hazard protection is uh, charging back up. Of course, you get the waypoint uh, to get your gameplay saved, just in case something. And go all around these areas and get all the stuff that's there. Um, like I said, there's shelter here. There's no reason to be in a hurry to leave. Um, you might as well. You know, exploit the area to its full. I mean, get whatever is here and, uh, you know, oh, another one of those vines. Okay. So, and like that, again, there's a lot of iron here. There's some carbon here. Um, so, basically, stay here a long time and mine. Because uh, you've got carbon to power the gun and you've got iron uh, that you're going to need to fix the ship and or power the pulse jet and put some away so that you have iron to take with you uh, in case you need to recharge your shields on your spaceship. Uh, that's always real important that before you take off you have enough iron, you need some plutonium, you need some iron, um, iron for the shields, uh, plutonium to uh, power the thrusters in case you have to land um, and uh, you also need iron for the for the pulse jet um, you sure don't want to take off into space without iron because you don't know how far the next planet's going to be how far you are from the space station and in order to continue you've got to keep going uh, you've got to you know you've got to find that space station you got to uh, pulse over to another planet, maybe uh, wherever the uh, the starting quest takes you. Um, and I would suggest always doing those start quests because it'll lead you to the um, the recipes you need to make your uh, warp fuel and possibly an upgrade or two. So <clears throat> once I'm, you know, I dropped into a cave here uh, to recharge. And uh, you know, as you're as you're walking through, make sure you keep an eye out for where possible areas of shelter are, and plan on using those areas um, to plan your route to your ship. And uh, here lately, I haven't even been make I haven't even been going to the ship. I've done several of these. I don't even go to the ship, and I'll show you. I'll show you what I do, but so I'm going to go ahead and finish up getting some iron here. Uh, I still haven't got uh, all the iron I need. And I haven't seen any heridium either. I've got everything else, but I've not seen any heridium. And what, uh, what luck. There is a drop pod. So I decided to come over to this, uh, this one is sort of on the way and it ends up being a drop pod. 
And that is, that is a stroke of luck right there. And there's zinc there and some more stuff. And again, now here's another area. Plenty of carbon, plenty of iron. Um, you got shelter in the drop pod um, that you can recharge. So go ahead, stay in this area, exploit it to the fullest uh, before you move on. And when you do move on, make sure you've got some shielding shards, make sure you've got some iron, um, some zinc. Um, obviously you need your Thamium 9. You notice I haven't had to recharge my suit at all yet. I think I've made it about halfway to my ship already. So the sun's coming up. Okay, well, still haven't seen any heridium. So I'm going to show you how to find some heridium. A couple of good ways I've been. Well, obviously, you can go to some high ground, but there's high ground seems to be an awful far, uh, awful far fetch here because it's pretty rough terrain. So we're gonna go ahead. We got some uh, more zinc here. I'm gonna check out what's over this little, what's over this direction. Get up on this little rise here and take a peek. There's my ship over that way. Up oh, and there's some heridium. Well, I lucked out, and it's there's quite a bit of quite a bit of terrain between me and it. Anyway, I want to show you a couple things. Uh, I'm going to need a little plutonium. I've moved the plutonium to the ship, and I don't have any in the suit, so I'm going to need a little plutonium. I'm going to come down here and get that. Uh, get this platinum also. Platinum and iron make shielding shards, so uh, always something good to have. Platinum, if you got it, don't don't pass it up. Grab it. Go down here and get this plutonium. And then it looks like I'm going to need to find some shelter. Just happens to be some shelter over here, right there. And you're saying, oh, wait a minute, what do you mean? That looks like a rock, that's iridium. But basically use your laser to drill a hole, and it's instant shelter. Oh, yeah, that's a little trick you can use um, early game. So I've recharged. Just sat here recharged. I did a little inventory management while I was in there. Um, looked around, looked at what I needed, um, and uh, decided to make a signal. But I'll show you. You can make a signal booster. That's what I needed the plutonium for. So this is another way you can use to find your heridium. Uh, make a signal booster and uh, ask it where a re mineral resource is. And it'll show you where the heridium is and hopefully it'll be somewhere that you don't have to walk halfway across the planet. So another way I'll show you here uh, use the camera and you can use the camera you can elevate and this is good for checking out the lay of the land trying to get a find a path through uh, you know path of least resistance where you don't have a lot of obstacles the path that you want to go or the direction you want to go or uh, you can notice that big old glob of plutonium off over the top over uh, hills and stuff where you can't normally see. So that's another little, so that's sort of kind of a cheat, but um, the camera comes in handy. So I'm going to go back over here and recharge, and then we are going to take off toward that heridium. Okay, here we go. And, uh, you know, I still have not filled up my suit. I got plenty of thamium, so that's not an issue. Uh, seems to be a lot of plutonium scattered around, so that's good. Uh, how much plutonium you can find uh, makes a big difference on your options, because it takes, in survival mode anyway it does, because the uh, the ship t requires 200 plutonium to get off the ground. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and recharge my suit. I use a power canister. Uh, and I did that because I knew I was going to have to use the jetpack. So. And 
Of course, we've got it sped up a little bit so it doesn't bore you to death. Uh, so we're going to pick up a few items on the way to the Heridium. And luckily, there's a bunch of Thamium around here. That's, that's a pretty good... So it must be the... Uh, the... Uh, the lay of the land must be your uh, must factor into it because I'm finding pretty much everything else I need. And the Heridium wasn't, you know, it was right on the way to the ship, but it wasn't that far. Uh, so we're going to have to take some shelter again. And while I'm in here, I'm going to do some inventory management. Uh, and I am going to load up on Heridium. I'm going to load up on Heridium enough to fix the pulse jet and then I want to also have one or two slots full of heridium in the ship before I leave. I'm here, uh, I'm in shelter, um, there's no rush, I might as well go ahead and get some plutonium or heridium, excuse me, um, and if you've done a playthrough you know why I'm doing this, because you're going to need it later on, believe me. Um, there's upgrade, key upgrades to your ship, stuff that you need to do to, to get warped, um, that you're going to need this heridium. And uh, it's also an ingredient for making your warp fuel. So uh, between plutonium and heridium, thamium-9, uh, that's what you are going to need. Oh, there's some more, some more thamium. Um, that's what you're going to need. And uh, it's, like I said, some of the key upgrades require heridium to your ship, and you're, you're going to have to have it later on. So there's no reason to walk away from this area without having a bunch of heridium. So, and I'm running into plutonium just about every, uh, every 30 seconds of walking. See, there's two, uh, my ship's over that way, there's another point of interest over that way. Sort of, kind of, on the way to the ship, so I think we're going to head that way. And the, the Iridium is going to be key in this, because it's, that's going to be shelter. I mean, that's, uh, you see that, that's a dead giveaway. Um, I mean, you know, you come this direction, and you're going to have shelter. Can I just recharge my gun? There's some more thamium. Man. So, here we go. Uh, I'll get over here and I will we'll burrow in. And we will recharge. Okay, we'll take a look around and... Uh, there's the ship. From here on, this direction doesn't look like a lot of a uh, lot of opportunity for shelter. We're gonna go for the um, point of interest. Hopefully, it'll be shelter. It's just off to my right. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It's a it's a base. Uh, that is a first out of probably 50 or better starts. Um, that is the first time I've come across a player base before I got to my ship. Before I got the ship off the ground and was flying around. Um, that's a first. So we're going to go ahead and get this base. It's not a very good planet to have a base on. I mean, look at this base site. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's no iron. There's no carbon. Nothing. So it's not a very good. Uh, it's not a very good spot to have a base. And the uh, again the lay of the land. Um, having played several playthroughs, um, it's this is not a good planet. Um, it's just the the terrain is way too rough for some of the later. Um, things that you've got to do, if you, especially if you want to do the base building. Uh, it's just not a good, just not a good uh, planet or site here 
uh, for a base. So, I mean, we claimed it, but uh, we can always get rid of it later. And my ship's the opposite direction, but there's something right over here about a minute away. Hopefully it'll be another drop pod or something. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Like I said, I'm probably not even going to go to the ship. I mean, it's always an option. You could, you know, it looks like there's uh, enough shelter opportunities. Man, this is rough terrain. Holy cow. But anyway, um, but since you can call the ship to you, uh, there's not much of a reason anymore. Uh, now that I've got my heridium, I've got my zinc, I've got my plutonium, if, if I have enough plutonium, Plutonium is the key because you're going to need 200 to get it off the ground the first time, 200 to get it off the ground the second time. So in order to use this option I'm planning on using, I really need 400 uh, plutonium and maybe more because if you only have 400, the first 200 is going to be spent, burn up, getting it to you. Okay, so now I've got it powered up. I've got it fixed and powered up. So we're going to go ahead and call it. And once it's here, now I have another area of shelter, right? And I can exploit this area to its fullest before I leave, which is what I would recommend. Uh, I didn't do it in this video. But now that there's shelter here, there's no reason for me to be taken off. I should go ahead and get iron. Uh scout the area out, get any get any um, elements I can that would help me in my quest here. But, uh, see, I've, I've used 200. Here goes my second 200. And right now I do not have enough plutonium to refuel the ship. Almost enough, but not quite. So, in that instance, I have to be very, very particular where I land. Um, now, I would normally jet around the planet, and I would land, especially at any uh, area, any building that had free parking, and that's one of the little pedestals or a landing pad, uh, but I decided to go ahead and see what, uh, since I had the base, I was curious, so I wanted to head to the space station. Uh, rather than bore you with some more details and uh, check something out and uh, so I'm gonna fast forward here and land on the space station and of course once you're here you want to go check the terminal um, which I did I sold a few odds and ends that I didn't need saw what they had to offer um, what the prices were things like that but I'm mainly interested in that guy right there and I come up here and I found out that you can't use the teleporter until you learn to warp. So you have to go through the first, well, you don't have to, but it'd probably be easier in order to warp to go through that first awakenings work your way through that because it'll lead you to the warp fuel uh, recipes and the hyperdrive upgrade. Okay, so I went and uh, loaded up with plutonium and I'm going to go ahead and head out. But I'm going to end the, uh, pretty much end the uh, video here. Now I come whipping out here and my timer for being scanned, you see it down there in the low, uh, the low left? It uh, went off. So always be observant of that. You'll have it, depending on where your ship is, what ship you got, uh, that thing will show you you're about to be scanned. And each system has a different uh, time frame, if they're at war or not at war, peaceful, whatever. Um, so I decided, I saw that, so I just stopped. When, it, when I got scanned, I just came back in here and landed. Now I should be good, it was a minute, a little over a minute getting over here. So I should be good for another minute now to go wherever I need to go after I leave here. Uh, but this is where I'm going to end the video. And uh, hopefully it's helpful. Um, 
thanks uh, to Hello Games for a nice game they've got going here. Um, and again, I do this. Uh, I do this for a hobby, uh, not uh, that. If you enjoy it, uh, let others know. Thank you.